Welcome back to our channel, where today we embark on a comprehensive exploration of the Nipah virus, NIV. First identified in 1999 during a notable outbreak in Malaysia and Singapore, this viral pathogen left an indelible mark, both in terms of its human toll and economic repercussions. In this episode, we undertake a meticulous examination of the NIV, encompassing its genesis, modes of transmission, clinical manifestations, and potential therapeutic interventions. Let us commence our investigation. The Nipah virus, or NIV, catapulted into scientific scrutiny in the aftermath of a significant outbreak that afflicted both swine and humans. This perilous episode exacted a grave toll, culminating in nearly 300 documented human cases and the unfortunate demise of over 100 individuals. The consequential fallout led to the culling of more than a million swine. NIV is classified within the Paramyxoviridae family, specifically belonging to the Henipavirus genus. It is classified as a zoonotic pathogen, signifying its initial transmission dynamics between animals and humans. The arboreal mammalian host reservoir of NIV is the fruit bat, scientifically known as the genus Pterapus. Owing to its genetic proximity to the Hendra virus, another member of the Henipavirus family born by bats, the Chiropteran population became a focal point of scrutiny, ultimately revealing the flying fox as the primary vector. The NIV into the human milieu encompasses various routes. 1. Direct contact with infected animals or their biological secretions. 2. Consumption of comestibles that have been tainted by the biological discharges of infected animals, such as palm sap or fruit, contaminated by an infected bat. 3. Proximity to individuals infected with NIV or their biological exudates, including nasal or respiratory droplets, urine or blood. Person-to-person -person propagation of NIV is a recurrent phenomenon, prominently documented in the regions of Bangladesh and India. This phenomenon predominantly manifests among the families and caretakers of NIV-infected patients, often within healthcare settings. The clinical trajectory of NIV commences with the emergence of symptoms, typically within 4, 14 days post-exposure. These symptoms encompass fever, cephalalgia, and frequently, respiratory distress. In critical cases, the onset of encephalitis ensues, characterized by symptoms such as somnolence, cognitive disorientation, and mental perplexity, which may precipitate a rapid descent into a coma within 24, 48 hours. Currently, Approved pharmacological interventions for NIV infection remain elusive. The cornerstone of management primarily revolves around supportive care, entailing rest, rehydration, and judicious alleviation of presenting symptoms. However, auspicious immunotherapeutic regimens are currently in development. In regions susceptible to NIV outbreaks, a preemptive approach entails practices like diligent hand washing with soap and water, abstention from contact with infirm bats or pigs, evasion of locales acknowledged as bat habitats, and refraining from the consumption of items that might be contaminated by bats, including unprocessed date palm sap, raw fruit, or fallen fruit. Given NIV's potential for human-to-human -human transmission, meticulous adherence to standard infection control protocols and rigorous implementation of effective barrier nursing techniques is an imperative prerogative within healthcare settings, particularly when confronted with suspected or confirmed NIV infections. We now conclude our exhaustive exploration of the Nipah virus. We trust this discourse has been both edifying and illuminating. Should you harbor queries or seek further elucidation on specific facets of NIV, we invite you to kindly convey your inquiries in the comments section. To stay updated with our future endeavors, please remember to subscribe, like, and activate notifications. We extend our wishes for safety and enlightenment to all our viewers.